if you don't know what to do a for this new update then this guy is definitely gonna be an option that can never go wrong today we're going to talk about the 2a copper in summoners war and luckily i managed to throw in one devil mon and got the best skill up in this unit i have no plan to put any more skill up into this guy because the biggest thing about him is the skill that didn't get changed his skill 2 can now defense break with 100 percent activation rate which is really good and the skill one got the lamest change of them all so previously this skill scaled with both attack and defense and now it scaled with only defense does that really mean anything not really the skill one does okay damage and it will continue to do okay damage and the best thing he got in the last update was more base defense which means he'll hit harder and that's pretty much it with the best damage build we're gonna go in with the best damage setup as well we have immensity on swift determination oh my god i can't believe i have a determination rune that kind of makes sense for my immensity as well and then we have leo for the defense lead i have damage on water in the left side and i have crit damage on the right side and accuracy for skill too because you still need accuracy for the defense break so let's see how hard we're gonna hit on that water unit over there here we go, guys. Here we go. I am the danger. <laughs> you, bro, before the Age of Artifact, it'll be quite amazing to see a copper that can hit like 70,000. But I don't think even, I don't think my runes are good. I think my runes are okay at best. And, and my artifact is like 15% that is like a blue artifact imagine a legend artifact it's crazy oh my god a hundred <laughs> that is kind of nasty we can defense break very nice in the past the chance to defense break is kind of random but now you can <laughs> yo I have high resistance excuse you A hundred and three! Oh my! How did I hit even harder? <laughs> and we didn't even have attack buff yet, okay? If you didn't know, you can actually buff attack power for this unit and it can hit even harder with attack buff. So we have a little bit less defense, but with attack buff, I'm pretty sure we're going to do more damage than the better defense lead. A hundred and ten <laughs> Oh my god, that is another 7,000 damage. Hey, if you happen to get attack buff, then he do a tiny bit more damage. Just fun fact. Not important, okay? Don't, don't try to get attack buff set up for him. It's not really worth it. Not too important. The most popular setup for this team is the good old Immensity Copper Bulldozer. So you have a Bulldozer who is also built with 70% crit rate. I have Determination Rune here as well. And you're trying to use this against a defense that has no speed lead that will outspeed you and no sort of strip ability so that they will not strip your defense buff because these two units are very tanky on a win unit it's only 73,000. that one probably have damage reduction from win as well so if they have strip you might be oh my goodness you might be in trouble can i kill this guy okay he doesn't steal hp so it's not too bad so if you can kill two, two target on the enemy team instantly with these two unit then you more or less win but unfortunately in 2023 every defense have some sort of strip and a lot of them also have speed leader so it is really hard to use this team nowadays but maybe in lower rank because i'm making content for for you guys and you guys don't play in freaking g3 siege battle every day and there are many weird defenses trust me i've been to many account and i gotta say the defenses that you guys make um very questionable so if you come across a defense that has no speed lead and no strip just bruiser defense then this is probably the best team you can use to have a sure win against all of them but then defense nowadays will look something like this there's gonna be some sort of strip going on that will make sure that your immunity will go away so instead of using a bulldozer you can use an elucia to provide you with that sustain and healing and control to buy time for the copper to get the skill three back so you go in Make sure you have damage on wind. Don't have damage on water. I think damage on wind is more important for copper just to kill the Triana. 85,000. And then you just sleep whatever they have over there that is scary to you. And 
there shouldn't be any problem. This will take a little bit longer, but this is siege, right? This is not arena cleave. This is not RTA stuff. So you don't have to worry about, you know, clearing a little bit slower and it's going to be fine. And then you just clear them one by one and you shouldn't have too much of a problem unless they really out ruin you. These, that's why I have high res on my copper because you never know, right? With Illusia leader skill, you will have maximum res and much better chance to survive a random defense break, a random strip, stun, whatever. And you probably come across this kind of nonsense as well, that it's going to be a kinky, a jubel, or just something very annoying that is sort of anti cleave So you go in, you kill the vigor, and you have Illusia to just keep the kinky busy with the sleep, and you just bring down the harmonia slowly and you shouldn't have any problem as well. So you slowly kill one of them, you get the idea. Another very popular defense in the past is some sort of Molong defense. But nowadays, you don't really see Molong defense anymore because there are there's so many counter for Molong defense. But usually, you will go and use Copper to kill whatever the wind unit over there. Usually, they will have a Reviver or a Cigar or something that can strip. You kill that. So here, I'm going to kill the Iris. And then the fire unit, Kamun, will be tanking the Molong. So you need to build your Kamun really, really well so that you can take the hit from the Molong. But nowadays, you can also just throw in like an Arnold to take the Molong hit and do damage and just kill the Molong straight up. So this used to be one of the best Giwa offense team available to mankind. It is so good. It is used by many top Gil for a long, long time due to how strong it is because the shield and the defense buff keep your team alive really well even without any healer. And copper just do a lot and a lot of damage on pretty much anything. There's also another build where I try to get max crit rate in the unit before any buff whatsoever. And then after that, instead of using it with immensity, I'll be using it with a normal defense buffer. For example, I'll be using Amelia over here for defense buff and I'll be going into this savannah defense so with leo and amelia we shouldn't have a problem getting absolutely destroyed by this guy over here we're gonna transform buff the attack power so maybe a vampire bill or violent bill is definitely gonna be pretty good so we're gonna pop that theo really overdoing the damage right there it's gonna die to the dots and that is also another option let me know in the comment section what is your favorite copper bill are you the utility kind of guy? Are you the triple revenge copper? Because you can revenge, stun, and also provide slow debuff. Because copper is really slow, right? So it's going to get attacked a lot of time. So maybe a revenge copper build is actually not a bad idea. Maybe, maybe. And this is another option. Just have the max crit before the buff and use another defense buffer so that you can bring more versatility to your team building instead of relying on only immensity boom good damage but sean i'm like free to play i don't have amelia okay i got you we got ourselves emma who can buff defense shield and provide resistant leader for the gill and we have raccoonie for the attack by boost and all these units can benefit from the resistant gill leader and let's try it out here against a five star defense which is something that i would not recommend but definitely worth a try so the copper We'll be tanking the fire threat on the enemy team, which is usually going to be the Perna. And then we're going to buff this. And Raccoonie can provide the attack by boost for Copper to cut in between because the fish might cut in. We're going to kill the fish right here. No problem whatsoever. Once again, overkilling by a long shot. So I think my Copper can definitely get maybe potentially 20, 30 more speed and way less crit damage. And if you, if you have less crit damage, I really want to put a glancing over there. You can definitely... Oh my god, here's the small problem where I'm going to take damage. Maybe having more effective HP is going to be really good as well. So that I can tank better because only having defense is good. But definitely not as good as having some sort of HP in there as well. To, to balance it out, okay? If you have too much HP and no defense, your HP is going to drop really fast. According to the game uh, damage formula. But if you have a balanced amount of HP and defense, just like having a balanced amount of attack and crit damage, it is actually better instead of having only one. Okay, we're gonna boost my boy, and then we're gonna kill him one by one. Once again, very boring offense team, but 
worked really, really good. And it is kind of free to play friendly. Just make sure that your copper is tankier and have better artifact. Like reduction from fire is going to be a much better option into this kind of team. This girl used to be one of my favorite healer in the game. She provides defense buff and immunity now. She was buff in the balance patch, but nobody really cared because she's not an exciting unit. But she's really good because her skill too can... Wait, there's a stun in there? There's a stun? I never knew there was a stun in there. It can put a target skill on cooldown, which is very good against Perna. This heal is great and the skill one can do some dot damage. You can pair her with a speed buffer so that your copper can still take a turn and instead not just be super slow, right? So we're going to go for some speed buff and then we're going to go for this and get immunity up as well. Actually, maybe get a shield unit to be to be safer. And with speed buff, we're, we're not going to be that slow. So we're going to kill the Wusa over there very, very easily. And then we're going to focus on the Molong. You can actually increase the cooldown of the Molong and then he's useless. Like, this Molong is low-key kind of useless. Oh, oh my god, we are kind of dying. Oh, and this thing doesn't cleanse. You know what? Pair her with something that can cleanse. I think that, one, that is going to be better. <laughs> Pair her with a cleanser, okay? I I, I think Vigor is uh, not a not a good option. We're gonna increase your cool time once again. Oh, the stun is underrated, bro. Look at that damage and the slow debuff as well. And then we're gonna. <laughs> wow, I never knew there was a stun in there. And she only buff immunity when you heal your the, the teammate back to full HP, which is kind of lame. But but hey, this is also an option. Mihail is very very amazing. And everything I'm doing today, you can probably also do it with the bulldozer. But damn, copper, solid unit, can never go wrong for a two-way option. So please build this guy. He is absolutely incredible. And let me know what is your favorite copper build in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.